Hi there. Our land has always been ready to share with us all that it has, but man has turned out to be a bad master. It always seemed to him insignificant. He wanted complete control over everything, the land, the climate, the seas and oceans, the near earth space. And it seems that the planet is no longer able to tolerate us importunate and insatiable people who bite into its core, cut down forests, pollute the surface, the sky and orbit. So mother nature has struck back. Today, we will tell you about the main events that took place on our planet in April 2018. April 2018 will be remembered by the people of Fiji as months of winds, water, and hurricanes. On April 2nd, a tropical cyclone Josie hit the islands, killing people and destroying 250 houses. One person is missing. The strong winds and rains caused the strongest flooding in the west part of Fiji. Interruptions with drinking water were observed. In some areas, traffic has been paralyzed. The power lines were disrupted. Movement on 70 key highways is limited. Almost completely underwater was a popular tourist town of Nadi. The National Directorate for Overcoming Disasters reported that 18 evacuation centers started opening on the west side of the country. Local authorities urged people not to relax too much, and just as soon as Josie was gone, it was replaced on April 10th by the Cyclone Kinney. The wind speeds reached 120 km per hour, gusts up to 165. The first blow of the elements took over the largest island of the archipelago Viti Levu. An incredible fog reminiscent of fresh milk dropped on April 2nd in the Chinese city of Sequin. The unnaturally thick steam clouds paralyzed traffic on all key highways and made it difficult to move within city blocks. At a distance of 15 meters, even large items could not be recognized. According to local authorities, nothing like this has ever been observed in this region. On April 3rd, a wave of thunderstorms swept through a number of U.S. states, some of which turned into tornadoes. The raging elements caused panic among residents of the cities of Missouri and in Illinois, damage to homes and metal structures. Victims among the population have not been reported. Lately, huge cracks have formed all over the earth, which are called faults. One of them was recently recorded in Kenya, Africa, in the Rift Valley area. Scientists cannot yet say what is causing the occurrence of this anomaly. Now the appearance of these strange cracks on the surface of the earth is quite common. There are faults in Africa and India, and some of them reaching the length of 5 kilometers. Also, you see pictures of huge cracks in Mexico, as well as in the U.S. states of Wyoming and Arizona. But these are not all modern faults. There are many more. In addition, there are many testimonies of people who notice the strange behavior of animals in places of faults. The birds lost their orientation and simply fell dead, and insects behaved strangely too. The strongest storm with a wind of 140 kilometers hit Houston on April 4th, causing serious damage to local infrastructure. The hangars on the territory of the local airport in a few minutes turned into a bunch of debris. Four private aircraft inside and some outside received serious damage. The only good news is that this disaster occurred at night, so no employees were there at the time. On April 5th, a strong downpour with thunder and hail the size of chicken eggs hit Saudi Arabia. Streams flowed along the roads and city streets were covered in white hail. The camels were distraught, unaccustomed to that much water and ice falling from the sky, so they tossed through the desert in search of shelter. And this is quite understandable. Some gradients reached 50 to 7 millimeters and represented a serious danger not only for animals, but also for humans. On April 6th, the volcano of Mount Sinabung in Indonesia once again declared itself. The ash plume rose to a height of 7.5 kilometers above sea level. 
pyroclastic flows rushing along the slopes of the mountain in a direction to the southeast spread out 3,500 meters from the top. The victims and destruction has not yet been reported. Local authorities announced the highest level of danger to the cataclysm and once again called for the evacuation. The volcano, which has been sleeping for four centuries, woke up in 2010 and represents a real danger for local residents as the police repeatedly warned them about it. But since it is extremely difficult to work in any other region of the country, most of the population remains in their place. Although, what can be more valuable than human life? On April 9th, an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.8 on the Richter scale occurred in the Shimane Prefecture in Japan. The element has brought down a part of buildings, has broken water supply lines, six people received injuries of varying severity, and a day later, the northern part of Chile was shaking. The strength of the tremors reached more than six points. And let us remind you that Chile is in the zone of high seismic activity known as the Ring of Fire. And again in Japan, April 11th, in a small resort village, Yabaki, a giant piece of rock collapsed. Fragments of the rock covered four holiday cottages. There are victims and missing people. According to preliminary information, the tragedy occurred due to soil erosion. To clear the site of the catastrophe, heavy equipment was needed. More than 300 rescuers took part in the search. On April 3rd, an accident on an underwater pipeline in the waters of the Indonesian island of Kalimantan led to an oil spill and the formation of a 12 square kilometer area. There was a fire and more than a thousand people have been poisoned by toxic smoke. The police reported that as a result of the accident, the pipe moved 120 meters from its usual location. The exact volume of leaked fuel is unknown. The blame for the ecological catastrophe was taken over by the Indonesian company Pertamina, whose leadership promises to pay for the damages. According to the manager of the oil refinery, the pipeline is underwater at a depth of 25 meters. When the leak was discovered, we immediately cut off the fuel supply to avoid even more serious consequences. But not even these measures could eliminate the destruction of this disaster, where four people lost their life and thousands of marine and coastal inhabitants were affected. Now oil flows everywhere and the bay resembles a gas station. Local authorities introduced a state of emergency and strictly prohibited smoking. But let's go back to earthquakes. Their number is growing all over the world. In 2017, there were three large tremors almost simultaneously. The strongest and most destructive happened on the border of Iraq and Iran. A slightly weaker impact was felt by the inhabitants of Costa Rica and Japan. According to scientists, strong underground impacts with a magnitude of eight or more occurred in the 19th century seven times, in the 20th century, 10, and in the 17 years of this century, there have already been six such earthquakes. Some scientists are of the opinion that this is due to global warming, glaciers are melting, and the ocean level is increasing. There is a redistribution of pressure on the continental lithospheric plates. All processes that were inhibited are accelerated. I would very much like to believe that what is happening is just the last warning and people still have a chance to save the land for himself and his descendants. Therefore, friends, let's be more tolerant and more thrifty towards our planet. And if everyone does this for a little while, then you can achieve a huge result. Give your thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.